Pirate Travelers. Today we're getting straight to the facts. No monkey business. Well, actually all monkey business. Because in honor of National Monkey Day, we're talking about the oh, 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 mandrill. Mandrills are the largest living monkeys, and they're extremely colorful, perhaps more so than any other mammal in the world. They're easily identifiable by the red and blue skin on their faces, as well as that bright colorful rump. Normally I'd throw in a joke here, but I'm leaving it alone. An adult male mandrel that has the brightest and most distinctive features on his face typically is the most attractive to the females. These distinctive features become brighter as the animal gets more and more excited. It's kind of like a mood ring that actually works. I don't feel angry. They also have extremely long canine teeth, which can be used for self-defense. But showing them is typically a friendly gesture among mandrels. Say cheese! <laughs> Now the females have duller colors and longer muzzles, and they're about half the size of their male counterparts. Mandrels are really social animals and live in troops. These troops are headed by a dominant male and include about a dozen females and their young. They can also gather in groups of up to 200 individuals. Now mandrels live in the rainforests of equatorial Africa. They have long arms and can travel long distances on the ground. They also like to climb trees and usually pick a different tree each night to sleep in. Like all monkeys, mandrels communicate through scent marks, vocalizations, and body language. Mandrels also have a loud, human-like scream, followed by rapid, deep, guttural grunts to start their day. <laughs> Mandrels forage on the ground for things such as fruit, roots, and small animals such as insects, reptiles, and amphibians. But if they collect too much to eat, the mandrels have pouches on the inside of their cheeks to store some snacks for later on. I wish I had pouches. The IUCN currently has mandrels listed as vulnerable because they're often hunted for food and a lot of Africans believe them to be a delicacy. Mandrels are also feeling the squeeze of spreading agriculture and human settlement. Both are shrinking their rainforest homeland. There are things you can do to help out our mandrel friends. Using less paper and avoiding products that have palm oil in them helps save the rainforest, which in turn helps mandrels find a place to sleep at night. If you want to learn more about saving the rainforest by saying no to palm oil, check out the Rainforest Foundation's website, which is posted below, and take the palm oil pledge. Thanks for checking us out, travelers. If you like this video, give us a like, and also tell us your favorite fact about mandrels in the comments below. And if there's an animal or conservation effort that you want to spotlight, email us at asktravstravels at gmail.com. And if you want to learn more about conservation efforts for mandrels or learn the mandrels' scientific name, check out travstravels.org or check out our Facebook page. And make sure to follow us on Twitter, at travstravels. And lastly, if you like learning about animals with us, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Keep on traveling, and happy National Monkey Day. <laughs>